Are you thinking about buying the new GoPro Hero 9 camera because you heard the sensor is twice as big? It's 23.6 megapixels rather than 12 megapixels. So that means the video and image quality has to be about twice as good, right? Is that the case? If you're unsure about that, you might want to check out the sample videos and images that I show in this upcoming video. Make sure to stay to the end and I'll give you my evaluation of what my opinion is in terms of the quality of the images and video.
reviewing the images in the video on my computer, I was not really impressed with the video quality. It isn't twice as good. It's probably about the same in most scenarios. So I don't think it's a valid reason to buy the new camera or to upgrade the new camera just because of the increased sensor size. That really doesn't seem to be making any difference at all in terms of just resolution of quality. Let's say blowing an image up twice, 200%, uh, to kind of pixel peeping, if you will. It's like, that's not really a good reason. Like even on a 4K, monitor or TV set, whatever you're viewing it on. It's like, you don't really even have to pixel peep. You can kind of see the video quality is the same. It's, it's not really all that better. But that's not the only reason to buy a new camera. That front facing screen is something that you might want to buy the camera for. The ability to frame up your shot uh, when it's pointing at you or let's say inside of a vehicle is like amazing. That's really going to help you out and save you lots of time and, and wasted retakes. Often I've set like a suction cup on my window inside the car, pointed it at me or pointed it at something and then drove off and I captured, you know, footage, if you will. Uh, and then I reviewed it when I got out of my computer and it's like, well, that wasn't framed very well. Like my head was off to the side or, you know, the thing wasn't like level. So having that ability to see that before you hit the record button is great. Um, also, it's really more convenient than firing up your phone, setting up the GoPro app, syncing it with your phone, and then doing the preview that way. That's kind of like a hassle and you're draining your phone battery and draining your camera battery while you're doing that. So front-facing camera, I would probably put number one on the list of items or reasons to buy. Um, the increased battery size uh, and the duration that you're able to record, that would be another really valid reason to purchase the new camera over the last year's camera. Another good reason is the horizon leveling. I'll be doing an upcoming video on horizon leveling, just illustrating how much of a difference it makes on the GoPro 9 versus uh, the same footage compared to a GoPro 8 or a GoPro 7. You're able to sit here and go like this with, a, with the camera and it's like amazingly stable. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification icon so you will be notified when I create additional videos on the GoPro Hero 9, GoPro Hero 8, GoPro Hero 7. I'll be comparing those. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.